Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good. So, in a previous video I shared with you uh, my essentials for the road trip. I hope you enjoy it by the way. In this video I'm gonna show you my hacks, tips and ideas for saving money. Right, saving money when you're booking your trip or you're actually there. So, let's start. First, first is a CD card. You probably why or what exactly I mean by that. Well, Nearly each city in the world has their own website, for example, berlin.com. And when you enter the website, the one of the first thing they usually see is some sort of like a city cards. And for me, it was like, what is that? You know? And when I actually got into these cards, I realized how much money and time they can save me. First of all, you're paying all together for museums, usually public transfers, uh, different attractions, and it's like one price for everything. And the prices vary from, I don't know, 20 euros to 100 euros, depending what you want, for how long obviously you are in the city, and so on. So I would really suggest you go and check it out because usually it saves you enormous amount of money because first of all it's a price for all together and everything and they don't really kind of calculate that you're gonna go everywhere but if you are really interested to check all the attractions and use a public transport it's gonna save you tons of money. Second. It's a free city tours. Guys, uh, most of you don't even, you know, think that, can, that in our 21st century there can be something free, but this is true. In nearly each city that I have been to, I've seen a free city tours and even used them. And they're just amazing. First of all, uh, it's really convenient if you want to learn a language and if you're learning language, I mean. For example, in Barcelona they're mostly on Spanish and Berlin is mostly in German and so on. But even if you're not speaking these languages, there's also you can find free city tours in English. So it's really convenient because, uh, yeah, they're free guys, you're saving money. And you're probably thinking, my, oh my god, oh, they're free, they're not that professional, you know. Yeah, they're not good. Well, that's actually not true because most of the guys who do these free tours are preparing themselves to become an official tour guide. So that is why there's even sometimes more information given to you than in a real one. So yeah, guys, free city tours, make sure you actually check them out. Number three. Uh, if you like know exactly what you want, and you're this type of the tours that know for sure I want to visit, I don't know, Madame Tussauds Museum, I want to go, uh, I don't know, Brandenburger Gate or something like that, like you know the attraction where you want to go for 100% and you know that you want to go there this date and this time of the day, then book online. First of all, it saves you a ton of time instead of, you know, standing in a queue, for example, uh, when I've been in Rome, I wanted to go to Vatican and I just uh, like went there and I'm standing in front of Vatican and I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked. It's 7 o'clock in the morning and there is a queue, like I don't know, kilometer, one kilometer away from the entrance and it's just for booking tickets. And then you actually need to wait to enter the Vatican. It's just crazy. So I was like, okay, no, I'm not gonna stand here for free or even more hours just to buy a ticket, then another few hours just to get into. So I come back the next day with online ticket booked. And guys, I saved enormous amount of money and time. First of all, I got the online cheaper because I booked Vatican and Colosseum. So I saved money. I think it was 10% uh, um, percentage like saving money and I was like really happy. Obviously I saved money and I saved enormous amount of time because I came with online ticket. There was a separate queue uh, both in Vatican and for Colosseum. For online tickets you just stand up like a few minutes, maximum 10 and you're already inside. It's just enormous amount of saving time and money. So yeah guys. If you know for sure where you want to go and where you want to visit, book online. Number four. Uh, if you're going to a new city, um, it's really convenient to actually, instead of 
booking a hotel, obviously to book an apartment, uh, we all know Airbnb and all of that. And it's not only for uh, convenience of saving money, I mean, but it's also really cool, for example, if you have allergies, for example, like me, I have lactose and gluten uh, allergy, and for me sometimes it's just like really difficult for some reason, <laughs> mostly to find a, like a proper breakfast for me because for supper and dinner, you know, vegetables and meat and easy peasy, but uh, with breakfast sometimes it's just crazy because I cannot eat, uh, I don't know, milk for yogurts and all of that if they're not lactose free and for most breakfast uh, places, you know, they not that prepared for all the people or you need to really be into you know uh, Google and Google a lot to find exactly the places where the like with your allergies and all of that ugh. no I'm not ready to spend that much time time the time sometimes you have have just few days in a new city for me so uh, the apartment in this case is really convenient because you can quickly prepare your breakfast and just go and enjoy the city around also, uh, it is obviously convenient the price because hotels mostly 99.9% .9 are more expensive than apartments. And if you still don't just don't really like it's like that uh, to live in a different apartment and Airbnbs and all of that, or you just do not trust, but obviously okay. Uh, and you're just you know like a bunch of girls all together and you need to leave in an Airbnb flat and you just don't feel really safe or something like that that's okay just book an apartment hotel usually even there they're cheaper than a hotel so make sure you check before you actually book something number five if you're not a fan of any apartment hotels and in general living in a different apartments and all of that then at least make sure you book direct from the hotel yes that's right direct from the hotel because most of the time for our own convenience we just go to the booking and all of these different websites and just book there because it's convenient you know all the website with the maps and all of that they're just there you click one button and it's done you're like okay the trip is booked the hotel is booked I'm fine I'm ready but guys if you spend another five ten minutes and book direct from the hotel you save the percentage that booking usually takes to themselves obviously for their service so if you want to save around 10-15% usually if you found a hotel that you like just go directly to the website from for like from this hotel and just book from there I like I'm not gonna lie <laughs> sometimes I'm all like also lazy or I just don't have time you know to go and check you know different websites and all that I just go to booking I know which like what I want they usually you know really convenient system that tells you where what and how but if you have a little bit extra time just go and book direct from the hotel number six Obviously, if you want to save some money, be flexible, obviously. All of us know that the most expensive tickets are usually booked from Friday to Sunday because it's the time that most of the people have free time, obviously, weekends, I mean from work. But, guys, of course, most of us have only free time on the weekends and that is why you need to be even more flexible. If you want to save some money, make sure you book actually the tickets or early in the morning or like really late in the evening. If you actually see the difference in the price, you will understand that altogether you're gonna save, uh, yeah, minimum 10%, sometimes even more. If you uh, even book a little bit early, then I don't know, that's me one week or two weeks before, then you save a uh, minimum 30%, minimum 30% if you book the earliest and the like latest tickets. I mean, time, oh guys, you know what I mean, right? Okay, number seven, uh, that's kind of tricky. Uh, well, again, it's the thing that most of us know, but usually forget. So when you're searching online for any ticket, any airline you need, 
you f you're using different search, right? For example, sky scanner, uh, booking, and there's so many guys, so many in different countries, the most popular ones. And you just found what you want, and after like searching, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes online, you're coming back, for example, back to booking, and you see that for some reason the price is higher, and you're like, oh god, damn it, I just found the best price and it's higher again. Well, that's the thing that we always forget. The search engines of the internet remembers what we've done, what we've searched and all of that and that's why the price automatically goes up. If you wanna buy with the same amazing price that you just have found, well, or you need to book immediately, not even thinking there's other opportunities, or you just go to a um, website but in a private window. I know, it sounds creepy and it sounds just like weird, like why would you done it? Well, because it saves your uh, search information, like your search history and the price is the same you've just seen. And sometimes by my own, I just forget it, I'm not using it, but guys, that's what actually saves you money. So, and because we're talking today about saving money, uh, don't forget to use a private window. So, number eight. Uh, most of us, like me, <laughs> are uh, lazy and I like to obviously travel with comfort. If you finally have uh, your you know, free time and your holiday, you want to enjoy it as much as possible and just enjoy the new stuff. And for me, uh, like sometimes it's just like the most convenient thing after you came to the new airport, just take the taxi and go directly to the hotel, you know, put the luggage and go directly to the city. But what I always forget is just check my apps. And what I'm saying about not just Uber or holiday taxi and different taxi apps, no, drive now, car to go, different, um, different apps for actually driving the car and of course you can tell me not everyone is a driver yeah that's then you need to take a public transport to save money or something like that but if you actually have a driving license that saves you enormous amount of money because nearly in each airport there is such system as a drive now car to go and any you know uh, car sharing uh, cars and you just go there there is already 100% inside a navigation system, so you're not gonna be lost. You can, you know, especially if you travel with a you know, a huge amount of luggage, even with a small, you can take a smart and just, you know, jump into and go to your hotel, leave the car, and that is it. That saves you an enormous amount of money because compared to taxi, obviously, uh, guys, I don't need to uh, explain it, right? It's just car to go or taxi, car to go and taxi, Ugh, straightforward, right? Okay, number nine. I love this rule. That's mean eat as a local. First of all, you eat as a local, you try new stuff, you try uh, like, you know, the local kitchen and it's just amazing because you taste something new, but I name it a trick because, for example, in Italy, we all know what siesta means, right? Everyone goes, they have their uh, usually supper or just like a time to drink a glass of wine, but not everyone actually knows that they have aperitifs. That means that you come to any restaurant, buy a glass of wine, and for you, they're usually, you know, a variety of different food, and you can just, as a parity, for they at least what they think, with just a, a glass of wine, you can, um, I don't know, take a bread, a small salad, and that, and that, and that, but in the end, you pay only for the glass of wine. How cool is that? You pay just I don't know, a few euros for your glass of wine and you eat instead of buying a food and a glass of wine and pay much more. It's just, uh, it's my favorite part during a siesta in Spain and Italy. So if you're in these countries, make sure you use it because first of all, you're enjoying and divine and amazing food of these countries. And number 10, <laughs> I think it's the funniest and the coolest thing. Um, well, if you're traveling with someone, 
um, make sure <laughs> that you say it's your honeymoon. No matter hotel, driver, I don't know, restaurant, any places you go, you can always say it's your honeymoon. And trust me, first of all, you're gonna receive a summer discount and you receive uh, free gifts, a few presents, you know, from the hotel. Even in the airlines, they give you some like uh, presents if you're saying it's a honeymoon. So if you're tra traveling with someone, <laughs> you can just tell it's your honeymoon and you'll receive something cool for that. So guys, that is it. That's my uh, 10 favorite hacks that I'm using by myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have your own hacks and ideas, please share it with me because I, I'm pretty sure everyone loves to save some money, especially if they're for the next trip. So yeah, guys, see you soon in the next one. Bye.